I thought I'd do a short build video about a project that just came up. Uh, this is a, a lighting stud, we call it, on the top of a tripod. Um, it's used to mount video production lights. Uh, it's on top of tripods and a, a bunch of other things, booms and whatnot. But they also make these plates that can be screwed to a set or uh, you know wherever you need to, to mount a light. They come in large ones like this. Or they also come in small ones like this. I need four for tomorrow, and normally I would just buy them and have them overnighted, but because of COVID, I can't guarantee that they'll get here tomorrow, so I thought we'd make one. Actually, we're going to make four. So here is a piece of 5 8 inch steel, just mild steel, and I'm going to cut four blanks with a circular saw for cutting metal, which is a fantastic tool, so much better than an abrasive cutoff tool. Cuts clean, smooth, cool, doesn't make a lot of sparks. We're going to also cut some bar stock that we use to make the base. Then we're going to take it to the drill press and drill two mounting holes, just like the small one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Now, it would have been nice to make this out of aluminum, but steel is what I have here. And like I said, this has to go out tomorrow morning, so. Then we're basically just going to put a countersink bit in, countersink the plate. So we're going to make four of those. Now, I don't have a metal cutting lathe. If I did, this would be very easy, but here's what we're going to do, because I don't, uh, is chuck the the rod in the drill press and then first I'm going to use a diamond wheel cutoff tool and an angle grinder to cut uh, sort of the, the top and bottom of that notch that needs to go into each one. Again a diamond wheel is so much better than abrasive it lasts so much longer uh, they're well worth the, the money they also don't get smaller as they get consumed so it cuts much better. This is just a standard metal grinding wheel used to cut out the middle. Then I'm going to use files just to clean up things a little bit. It'll help square off everything. And then the final step is just to use sandpaper, take off the burrs, get things a little more dressed up. I'm not trying to make a, a super perfect thing here, just something that's going to work, but it'll get reused. So I might as well do at least a decent job. So here's the four parts. And then we'll take it to the welding bench. For something like this, I typically use TIG just because I can get uh, a really nice weld and it's not that big a part, so it's not going to take that long. We'll just take it up. I put them in the sandblast cabinet just to give them a quick clean before I paint them. I mean, there's a million ways you can clean them up, but for something again small like this, I'll just hit them with the sandblaster. And then some high temperature spray paint just to keep the rust off since they are metal. And there you go. Ready to go out the door first thing tomorrow morning.